You know what? It's time to rock and roll tonight. When I first saw this video some years back, it really bothered me. A universe from nothing and this up and cut. Now this is Richard. This is that jackass Richard Dawkins, that god hater. Let's let's get you, uh, Lars Kraus. He's a lot kinder. He's a, uh, he's a lot kinder of a person. Richard got Richard Dawkins. Get the fuck out of this video, you slut. You're dead now. You're in hell now. So you quit bothering this fucking bit. There he goes. Now, Lawrence Krauss is an amazing scientist. And when I saw this video title, A Universe from a, a, a New Universe from Nothing, it fucking bothered me. Doubts at the whether God is real arose. I still believe in God, but you know, I was taken for a roller coaster ride that I did not like. A Universe from Nothing. Do you know what nothing means? Aristotle in the first century defined nothing as. Nothing is what rocks dream about. In other words, first, first being that's a that's a that that's what that's a figure of speech. First being, rocks are not alive. So when rocks dream, what do rocks dream about? Absolutely nothing. I saw this video. and I'm like, this man could say this. This man can explain how all this came from. What rocks dream about? Absolute nothing. I this bothered me. I so I just, I this I had to rush the video. But as he got in explaining how the universe came from nothing, nothing, I began to think that this man is a fucking jackass. I see was talking about matter and antimatter. When an matter and antimatter touch. They annihilate each other into nothingness. And that's what matter and antimatter came from. And I did a video somewhere on my channel saying, Lawrence Krauss, if matter and antimatter annihilate this, annihilate each other into the nothing that rocks dream about, how in the fuck is the USS Starship Enterprise, which is science fiction based upon science, how is the uh, Starship Enterprise propelled? In the faraway galaxies, by nothing. It, the propulsion system of the USS Enterprise is matter and antimatter colliding, and the resulting energy—not nothing but energy—propelling the Starship Enterprise in the distant galaxies. So I thought this fucking douchebag was a fucking jackass. He looks ugly. If I looked like him, I'd want to die. I would not want to live. He's bald. He's ugly. I would not accept being brilliant. If I had to look like him, I would not be as, want to be as brilliant as this guy. He's butt ugly. No. Lots and crowd, lots crowd, you are butt ugly. And I'd rather die than look like you. I'd rather die than look like myself if I cannot get that goddamn hair transplant. And right now, I don't give a good god fuck about anything but except being the good looking guy. Them top nuts, top nuts ladies. Not the guys who are queer as a football bat or a baseball girl, but those top nuts girls. Give me the good looks or give me death, god fucking damn it. Shit, god fuck. And fuck the rest of the world and fuck y'all too. So I begin to feel a sense of relief. So this man is not saying the universe came from what rock stream about absolute nothing. But what the fuck is he talking about? He's a goddamn jackass. Until I heard this right here from yep, you guessed it. <laughs> but again, we didn't come from nothing and no scientist believes that we ever came from absolutely nothing. The Big Bang is not something from nothing. Even when cosmologists talk about a universe from essentially nothing, they don't mean an absolute philosophical nothing. In fact, they don't think that an absolute nothing is even possible because every time they try to create a perfect vacuum, they notice quantum fluctuations. Yeah, I saw in a video, I couldn't find it, so I didn't include this. What Matt Dillahunty said, what we say is nothing is what 
not re nothing really means. So it boils that said this is the conclusion about Lawrence's Cross's video. This is goddamn clickbait. This was unethical. This is this this was a dick move, cheap low blow. Trying to get think people to think that the universe came from absolute nothingness, so that people would stop believing in God. If you didn't mean that type of nothing, motherfucker, why in the goddamn fuck did you not say right from the goddamn beginning of your goddamn video what type of goddamn nothing you are talking about? Why didn't why in the fuck did you not say? I'm not talking about philosophical. God, fuck it. I curse God if I cannot speak. I, why the fuck did you not say? Why, why did you not level with us and say, quote, I'm not talking about philosophical nothingness. I'm talking about whatever the fuck are nothingness. Whatever the fuck you re redefine nothing to mean. From where I come from, nothing means nothing. From where I come from, this universe. There's no way in hell this universe can come from nothing. But with you redefining terms and moving goalposts. What the fuck can I say? You dinner you dissed honest fuck. Goddamn fuck god dick shit and mother dick on the goddamn rags, bitch. So my plaguing question to me is why in the goddamn fuck is there something instead of nothing? I mean, doesn't doesn't it make more damn sense to believe if there's something here, it would be a living God, complete, free from sickness, utterly needing nothing but himself to survive? It makes no damn sense to me. That the thing that's eternal is this broken, busted, hate-filled law of the jungle might makes right reality. We live, we die, game over, lights out. There has to be something more than this shit. And if this is all there is, fuck every goddamn one of y'all, give me my goddamn whole pie and y'all can go to hell. So you would love me, but instead you stood up, up you spit me out, you kick me down. I hate your never love me. Now watch me fight, cause I'm in the dead of night. Take back the one, give them a ride. Let me put on face, let me put on face, let me put on, let me put on, let me put on face.